Welcome to a lesson on using the TI-84 graphing calculator to determine the regular savings amount needed to reach a financial goal. In the previous video, we discussed how we use the value of an annuity formula, solve for P, to determine the regular savings amount to reach a financial goal in the amount of A. So P was the regular savings amount and A was the financial goal. However, for this video, we'll show how we can use the financial feature of the graphing calculator to answer these questions quickly. So for our first example, if you want to purchase a car in four years, you want to pay cash for the car and have determined it will cost $15,500. If you're going to make monthly deposits into an account that pays 6% interest compounded monthly, what would be the amount of the monthly deposits? So we're going to press the apps key, then enter for the financial menu, and then enter again for the TMV solver. And now we'll enter in all the information listed here except for PMT, which stands for the payment. So capital N represents the total number of payments that will be made. We're making monthly deposits for four years. So N would be 12 times four. The interest rate is 6%. The starting value or present value is zero. Let's skip the payments for right now. The future value we want to be $15,500. PY stands for payments per year, that'll be 12. And the compounds per year, it's also compounded monthly. So now we'll go back up to PMT for payment. We're gonna clear this amount and then press alpha, enter. And it will tell us the monthly savings amount that's required, $286.52. And notice that it is negative because we will have to pay this amount on a monthly basis in order to reach our financial goal. Now for our second example, we're gonna take a look at the exact same situation except change the number of years to two years instead of four years. So we'll be able to determine if we only save for two years, how much more would we have to save on a monthly basis? So we'll go back to the calculator, and using this feature here, we only have to change one thing. N is now only gonna be a total of 24 payments, or 12 months times two years. We'll press enter, and now we'll go back down to PMT for payment, clear this old amount, and then press alpha enter again. So now if we only save for two years, we have to save $609 and 47 cents every month. So this is a nice illustration of how important financial planning is. Saving almost $610 a month for two years can seem overwhelming, but maybe saving less than $290 per month for four years might be more manageable. But as you probably know, in general, cars are not good investments. Cars appreciate on average of 15% per year. You could probably save quite a bit of money by purchasing a used car and therefore reducing the amount of money that you would have to save. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.